I believe in our country. I believe in the values that have established our country, and I believe in the brave men and women who have built this country and given it to us. However, we are living in the times our founders feared, a time where people would lose touch with the values that have separated us from other civilizations. Freedom, democracy, and self-governance have been the light on a hill for all the world to see. But now, that light is fading away as the shadows of tyranny seek to take all we have established. America can lose her place as the defender of freedom and the guardian of morality, but only if we do nothing. The Founders have entrusted us with the ability to preserve our destiny as a moral and righteous people, and to ensure freedom and self-governance to be carried on to our posterity. They knew the hearts of men would grow weary and lose direction. They knew our society would yearn to come back toward the light of morality and freedom. And so they gave us Article 5. Our founders trusted we would have the courage and the heart to stand boldly against the forces of tyranny, to protect what is written into the spirit of every American. Freedom. Good morning, COS Patriots. My name's Andrew. This is the 5-Hour Activist Series, Episode 3. So far, I've been working on building a team of engaged citizens who are willing to volunteer their time to call their legislators, to uh, send out emails, and to send out handwritten letters. I've been making a lot of phone calls. I've been getting mostly no's, but it's okay because I'm happy to report that I got three people to join my team last week, which has just really brought up my spirits and just really made me just feel so accomplished. And I'm just so happy about that. I'm also working on organizing an event for my school. I got in contact with my events coordinator and she told me that I would be able to have a booth at the free speech um, area in the quad. So I'm gonna occupy the free speech area with a COS booth and I'm just gonna reach out to my peers. I'm gonna try and talk to them about what a convention of states is, what article five is, all the different myths behind um, a convention of states. And I'm just gonna see how receptive my peers are to a convention of states. Because convention of states is not just for a specific age group. Convention of states is for everyone. So many young people, particularly millennials and Gen Z, have no idea about convention of states and what it is. They have no idea about Article 5. You know, and I don't care where, where you are politically. If you're a Republican, if you're Democrat, if you're an independent, if you're red, blue, green, it doesn't matter. Convention of States is not just for Republicans. It's not just for independents. It's not just for conservatives. It's something that's for everybody. It's all inclusive because all of us have a stake in our country. That's why building engaged, informed, and dedicated uh, citizens to holding the federal government accountable is so important. And we do this through awareness, through raising a grassroots army. And so that's what I hope to accomplish when I go to my school. Because when you really get into the nitty gritty of, of corruption, it doesn't matter if it's Republicans or Democrats. Corruption is corruption. All politicians are people and all people are susceptible to corruption. So I'm out here hiking in my backyard. Well, it's not really my backyard, but it seems like my backyard. I basically live right over there. I'm out here hiking kind of as a metaphor. You know, being in the wilderness, being on a trail that's difficult. These are all kind of metaphors for what we're going for, through in California right now. Because getting California to sign on to the Convention of States is kind of like hiking. It takes time, it's hard, and it's uphill. But just like a hiking trail can be traversed, so can a convention of states be possible in California. It may seem rocky and it might seem like it's impossible, but it's not. We need to have faith. We need to have courage and we need to have conviction. When things are most difficult is when we need to have these qualities. When things are the most discouraging is when we need to persevere. Because every day we're gonna be faced with difficulties. This is not going to be easy, particularly in California. California is a deep blue state. What we need to have is courage. Courage to call people every day. Courage to believe that what we're doing is good. Courage to believe that we are making a difference. Thomas Jefferson once said, one man with courage is a majority. Well, that's what we're doing. We are being that majority. Thank you for watching episode three of my video blog. My name's Andrew.